Here in southeastern Arizona, the Galero Mountains rise up from the surrounding desert as a sky island mountain chain of jagged outcroppings, sharp peaks, and sheer cliffs. I've come here to catch a mountain lion, something that I've never done. I've eaten more mountain lions than I've seen in the wild, something I cannot say about any other North American game animal. My three sightings have been just glimpses, seconds long. I'll be hunting with two of the best lion hunters in Arizona, Floyd Green and his hunting partner of 30 years, Joe Mitchell. this rocky knob up in front of us right here? Yeah. Lions tend to, when they travel through the country, that's like a magnet for one. Really? It's just a cat thing. They gotta go, they'll climb up on top of it, they'll go lay by it, you know, they, they may bed down near it, but it'll always be some sort of structure like that. Now what about this guy right here? It's an older track, and I can't really make it out real well, but it certainly has the characteristics, that round front end and, yeah. and everything we're looking for. It's old enough where it's it, not interesting. Yeah, if it's a day or two old, it's, it's kind of, it's old news. As luck would have it, we come across evidence of a relatively fresh kill. Oh, here, down here. Oh, there you go. Oh, man, a little buck. So they clean it right up. Huh? Yeah, there's not much left. Most of these lions consume about 40 to 50 animals a year. Really? You can imagine how 10, 20 of them in a small area just has a huge impact. Yeah. It's funny to think at some point very recently there was a live lion clamped onto this thing. <laughs> Each day starts the same way. First, you figure out which way you want to go. Have you got one? Uh, what do you think when you look at that right there? Boy, it looks like a lion track. You can see how flat it is. Yeah, it's also good. And everything else is all tore up around it, and we're going the right way. Once you find some evidence of a lion's passage, you rely on the dogs to keep you on track. You think they're on something or no? You know, they're... You should heard her open it there. Yeah, she, she just got the track right there. It's just a patience game at this point. You, you know, lion hunting's hours and hours of this, what we call cold trailing it. Just working the track, trying to overtake wherever it's spending the day. You yep. This dog knows there's something happened here, but the, the porous rock, there's a lot of volcanic rock here, a lot of pores in it. It holds those scent molecules better. <coughs> he likes, you see him licking everything and going nuts. You gotta be impressed by the nose on these things. It takes years of experience to interpret what your dogs are telling you. We've had a much better track over here. I would say this is definitely night old. Now how the hell can you tell that? The dogs that are opening right now and the way they're acting. So you're just going by the level of excitement, the tail wagon. That energy and then that Patches dog that I talked about, she's opening this really strong. So is, uh, so is the Duke dog, those are Dogs I trust a lot. Uh -huh. They don't go off on old cold sign. Right. The problem is the dogs are on and off tracks all day, and most of these tracks prove to be too old to do any good. We call this a big lose. Basically lost the track, and we've got to wait for them to sort it out. Some of these dogs have a track probably made yesterday, and some of them have the track coming in here. And you just don't know who's got what, you know? So you really just got to let them work it out. What would be the longest you give dogs to work something out? I'll probably quite some time in here. Hours? It could be hours, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm learning that this takes a lot of patience. You know, we got all the way to the top here, and it's lost that track in the burn, man. I mean, all that whole hillside just scorched, and it's just ash and dust. The dogs can't follow it. it just got away. This is a fair chase hunt, man. I mean, it's a tough hunt that requires a lot of skill and a lot of stamina. And if there's some point, you know, in hunting beyond food and sport and physical activity and connection to nature, it's that it teaches you just a lot of coping mechanisms and, and things that help you find success in other avenues of life. And I think that learning how to deal with disappointment and then getting up and hitting it again and again and again is valuable, you know? And for me, that's something I learned through hunting. And we'll keep going. But it's tough, man. I mean, it's just, you know, bare ground lion hunting.
When it comes to lion hunting, you have to forget the notion that the moment of truth comes with the shot. Here the moment of truth plays out very slowly before you even see the animal. The moment of truth is the chase itself. 